But six to nine today was the first day to file for some Jackson County offices. And there's already a fight among candidates running for county sheriff. NBC Action News reporter Chris Hernandez is live in the newsroom with that story. Now, Chris? Well, five candidates want to replace the retiring sheriff. With such a crowd, it's a big deal to get listed as the first name on the ballot. One guy waited outside overnight in the cold, expecting to be the first one in line to file, but he says others cheated. Sat in this chair. Gary Shearer sat in this chair, bundled up for almost 14 hours. I'm just pissed off. I really am. He was first in line outside the Oak Street entrance on the west side of the county courthouse. My whole intent of staying there was to be number one on the, on the ballot. But when the doors opened at 7 a.m. and he ran upstairs to the clerk's office on the second floor, he was shocked to see two other candidates for sheriff already there. You can call it cheated, you can call it backdoor, and you can call it whatever you want to call it. First in line, and now first name on the ballot, is Tom Cranbull. Cranbull is already a county employee and used his county ID to swipe himself into the building's south side employee entrance around 3 a.m. He waited upstairs in the warm hallway. About two weeks ago, I contacted the county clerk to find out what the procedure was, and that's what I followed. Shearer says Cranbull cut in line and questions the fairness of county employees using the advantage of inside access when running for office. He frames it as an ethical question for candidates running for county sheriff. If they're all the candidates are running for sheriff, they ought to be people of, of high integrity, and we ought, to, we ought to all play by the same rules. The line formed at her doors, and that's the way the order went. County Prosecutor Jim Knatz are also swiped himself in early through the employee entrance to file for re-election, even though he's running unopposed. He showed up a little before 4 a.m. Tonight, he says that inside advantage is just something that's always been allowed, and that it's not for him, Mark, to judge whether it's fair. Oh, that, that's just a wild story. It sounds like there's some other shenanigans here, too. Well, yeah, we're also told that another candidate apparently tried to hide in the building and was kicked out by deputies, and that yet another got upstairs early by escorting the Democratic Party volunteer who was helping with the filing process. All right, very interesting. Wow. Off to a crazy start there. Thanks, Chris. Sure.